comprehend. That's the word we're going to look at. In the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 5, comprehend is exactly what it means. Because if we do not comprehend, we are still darkness. But if we comprehend, we are no longer darkness, nor walk in darkness, because we will have the light of life. Believe, understand, comprehend, know, receive. Here are some selected passages of scripture to edify you. So 1 John, I'm sorry, John chapter 1 and verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And another example of the word comprehend in Romans 13 and verse 9 for this, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. The light of life gives that and allows us to do that. It is briefly comprehended in this, saying, namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Can we comprehend that? And another word, Ephesians 3, verses 14 through 19, the word comprehend again we will find. And I'm giving you a big context to this. For this cause, I bow my knees unto the Father, of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is Apostle Paul, his prayer. Of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. That's huge. That he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man not the flesh but what's inside strengthened there that it's manifested outwardly that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith that ye being rooted and grounded in love may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God. Wow. This is what we want everybody to have. It's free. It's his free gift. Ephesians 5, verses 8 through 14. For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Amen. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Comprehend. Believe, have faith. John 8, 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. And John 12 
Verse 46, Jesus again speaking. He says, I am come a light into the world that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. Have a look in 1 John chapter 1. God bless you.